Retirement often means heading to warmer climate and relaxing. But for Bob and Flory Wilkins, heading to warmer climate meant bringing back a unique hobby that has kept them busy for the past 14 years. When we retired in 1999, we lived in our fifth wheel for over two years, and so we obviously had to spend it in warmer climes. And we had a friend from Medicine Hat who'd been doing stained glass for a number of years who was very particular about how she did it and still is to this day, and she was the one that taught us. And after plenty of practice, they now have the ability to create all kinds of amazing pieces. We like doing wildlife. We also like to do uh, landscapes. We can do all sorts of panels we have over the years. Uh, we also like to restore the very old came windows. It's a challenge and it helps some people out with their homes uh, around uh, Alberta. And, and, and in particular, uh, we've helped some museums with old windows and churches. And it's those sorts of pieces that are gaining some international attention whether it's a simple like or comment, thanks to the world of Facebook. So we've had one from Hawaii, uh, one from uh, Iran, uh, we have a couple in Russia and Czechoslovakia, and a lot, of course, in Canada and the U.S. and the U.K. But you may recognize a few pieces right here in central Alberta. The Noah's Ark church in uh, window in the United Church in Rimby, but we also took the broken glass along with another lady, uh, Lori Chilibeck, from uh, Sylvan Lake when the big hailstorm went through Markerville and we created two windows in the foyer of the church and the historic Markerville church. As for the process of making a window, well patience is a must. The first step is to create the design and get the glass, followed by cutting the pieces down, grinding, fitting and foiling, which they say can take a couple of months. And if you're thinking of taking up the hobby, there are a few more characteristics they say are essential. Artistic talent, but, uh, but the big thing with stained glass is, is basically it's a technical aspect of knowing your glass, knowing how to solder. It's all a mechanical process of soldering and just, just getting into that uh, ability to uh, understand what stained glass is all about. For Go Central, I'm Kyle Plansky.